Today we're talking STEAM studies on The Boiling Point. Well, we're fresh back from Power Gen and trying to get in the flow here, but we'd like to talk with uh, Jude Wolf a little bit about STEAM studies. It's a little bit of a thing that we like to call, Hey Jude. Jude. Hey, Jude. When we do a steam survey, there are a lot of little things that we look for in a plant that can cause problems with unit heaters, uh, process equipment, etc. And uh, we're going to take a quick look at a few things that uh, we run into frequently. This is a nice example of a nicely installed unit heater. As you can see, the steam supply piping to the unit heater comes out of the top of the supply header and that ensures that you get dry, clean steam to the unit heater. Coming out of the unit heater, we've got a strainer with a blowdown valve. Uh, we've got a float and thermostatic trap, which should be able to handle large amounts of condensate we may have from a unit heater. And then we have a check valve so that we don't back condensate up into the unit heater if, it, if the steam system shut down. Finally, we've got uh, one last valve so that we can isolate the unit completely if we need to for service. This is an example of another unit, a uh, second one right down the header from the unit that we just looked at. And it's piped pretty much identically. However, we have a small problem here. Uh, our header, and this is the end of the line here, does not have anywhere for condensate to go except for up and into the heater. And of course, anytime we try to get condensate to flow up, we're working against gravity and we can generate uh, steam or water hammer in this line. So it's really important when we've got a terminal unit or the last unit in a run that we have a drip leg at this first elbow, which should have its own trap and pipe it down into the outlet of the trap on the unit. And what that will do is that'll prevent water from accumulating in this horizontal line and also it'll provide better steam for this unit. If, if all of the condensate generated in the piping goes through this unit, it's not going to put out 20% uh, of the heat that the, that the previous unit will. So that's uh, frequent oversight and we just need to make sure that we have an end of main trap. As you can see from looking at the differences in the way that we test equipment and the fact that we go beyond that to a whole nother dimension of installation or resolving existing issues, uh, a steam study from where can really bring a lot more to the table than a standard trap test. A guy coming in saying this is good, this is bad, because if there's not a trap on the list for an end of main, then that guy's not going to notice that anything's wrong there. We find many instances after doing steam studies that we have productivity increases on equipment due to better steam quality. We have lower uh, fuel bills because BTUs are going where they need to be delivered to make stuff work properly. And we can really just optimize the system and, and make it work the way that either it was designed for or the way it, it should have been. Well, we always appreciate Jude stopping by and giving us some insight and some of his knowledge on the STEAM studies or any other technical thing that he does. He brings a lot of knowledge to um, our customers and to our company. Um, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. In case you didn't check it out, we launched our new online parts store three days ago, BoilerWarehouse.com. Shop for over 37,000 parts, one of the first of its kind. Always appreciate you hanging out with us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.